the environment, but your cost gonna rises. Or if you are producing high level of goods, then you are gonna polluting the environment. So this is a global village. Somebody has to produce high level of goods to trade off with the environmental friendly goods. So it's not about just one country. For example, all the countries are now against China because they are polluting the environment. Then who is gonna make this high level of goods, this industrial goods? If China is not making that, then other countries, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, they are going to make it because we are in a global village. If you reduce carbon emission here, the others going to start from here, there. So in the, the aggregate impact gonna be the same. So it means there is no free lunch. People face trade-off. So I have a video here. Please watch it to further clarify your concept. Let me yes, let's watch it. I think there is an error. It's not not playing. Sorry about that. Let's move forward. I would be sending you the link for this one. Okay. Now, second principle is the cost of something is what you give up to get it, which means the cost of trade off. The cost in previous one, we have alternative, but here we have cost of the alternative. So decisions are required comparing cost and benefits alternative. So why you choose to come to this, this class rather having family dinner, rather having watching movie, earning or sleep because the cost of leaving this class is high, why? because it will impact your degree and your degree will help you to earn more. So if you are not attending this class, ultimately you are losing money, right? So that's why the cost of this leaving class is high. So that's why you come to this class. So think about that, whether to go to the college or not, what should be the cost that you, you know, whether you go to the college, what should be the cost? The cost are tuition fees, right? Food cost, accommodation, books, and the biggest is the time. You will be spending four years in the bachelor program. You could have accumulated a great wealth by doing jobs, right? So either the cumulative cost of these four years are greater for your future or not, then you need to decide that, right? There is no free lunch. You choose the alternative that is best for you. The alternative based on cost and benefit analysis. So we call this opportunity cost, which is the cost of an item is the cost which you pay to obtain that item, right? So right now, what is your opportunity cost macro? Your sweet sleep, right? Uh, the opportunity cost for me right now, I don't know. Um... Simple, just think about I, that. I am, I'm, giving, I'm giving away my, my time, that's for sure. Of course, but what is, I'm getting is that this is education. Cost, but instead of this time, what you would be doing if you are not attending this class right now? 
the slate will be sleeping. Right? So. That would be your call. Yeah. If, if you can convert it into monetary terms, that would be your call. So you already know this guy. Unfortunately, we lost him. So Kobe Bryant, he choose, he chose to skip college and go straight from high school to the pros. So what was the benefit? Millions of dollars. But the cost is he dropped the education. But don't do this because he's only one in a million. That doesn't mean that, okay, leave this class, leave CIP, and you're going to be, you know, earning millions of dollars by joining the NBA, okay? Now, third principle, which is rational people think at the margin. So that is a new way of thinking. So what do we mean by rational? And what do we mean by irrational? Okay, in simple words, Rational means if you want to have a decision, you collect information. For example, you want to buy a laptop, you collect information. Okay, we have Lenovo, we have Apple, we have Sony. HP, Dell, Microsoft Surface software, uh, you know, laptop as well, right? I have it. Okay. So, so rationality means you collect information, you collect alternatives. A B, C, D, E, F. And then you select the one which best suits your budget or according to your needs. Surface Pro X. I choose this one. So this is called rationality. Right? Because I want to spend money and this is huge money, more than 15,000 RMB. I need to spend it. What I need to do, I select the alternatives. Okay, what is the best in this range? I have Lenovo, I have Apple, I have Sony, I have HP, I have Dell, I have Microsoft, right? And then I choose Microsoft Surface Pro X, right? So this is called rationality. What is irrationality? irrationality. Maybe it's more emotion based. Exactly. You don't care about collecting information. I love Apple, right? I love Apple. No matter what, you know, what happened to, you know, the Huawei or Samsung, I wanna buy Apple. Right? So back to our slides. Economics assume that people are rational. So that is the biggest drawback of the, of the economics. Because people, they are not two plus two is equal to four. So that's why we, every time there is a new solution for the same problem. Because people, some uh, people are not always exert rationality. They are irrational. Same situation, if you apply with the same person, his reaction gonna be different on every situation. Oh, I gave Marco $10,000. 
Marco was very happy. $10,000, yeah, very nice. After two years, I gave the same 10,000. Marco will say that, come on, man, inflation increase. Give me 15,000. Or after five years, if I give $10,000, Marco will say that, uh, I don't need that. Instead, I'm gonna give you $20,000. Now I'm well up, I don't need your charity. This is a piece of peanut for me. Go to the hell, right? Same situation, people, people react differently. So that's why in economics, two plus two is not as good to four. This is not the solution for this one. But all, over all theories, economic theories, they base that people are rational. So remember, we are talking about the economy and in economy, there are people, there are firms, sellers, sellers mean like firms, okay, those who produce the goods. So they interact with each another. So sometimes people do exert ir irrationality. Even if you are in, you know, even if everyday decision you exert in irrationality. For example, you wanna buy a pencil, a pen. Let me share the whiteboard and then we discuss this here. So I wanna buy a pen. And I am very rational person. First, the pen cost me only two yuan, but I gather information. Okay, how many pens are in the market? Like thousand brands of pen. I collect information. Okay, this is 1.8 yuan, this is two yuan, this is uh, one yuan, this is 0.5 yuan. This is, in one yuan I can buy eight pens. There are thousand brands, right? And then I found that, okay, this runs for a year. This runs three months. This runs only a month, a week, two years, five years, 10 years, a lot of information. And then I bought only one pen and this analysis cost me three weeks. Only for two UN pen, I spent three weeks gathering information and all those stuff. So does it make sense? Even if you are rational, but people will say you, you are crazy, right? The people will say you, you are crazy. So sometimes being rational is not a good choice. So you see, rationality occurs when there is a huge budget, for example, you want to buy a house. House is $10 million. Then spending two weeks to gather information looks reasonable, even less reasonable. You need to wait for six months as well. Some will say that, wait six months. Some will say that three months, four months. If I, if I want to buy a laptop, it's a $15,000, 15,000 yuan, right? It's a huge cost of my, income, huge portion of my income. So I need to think rationally. But if, want, if I want to buy a bubble gum, a chewing gum, if I go for rationality, I would be crazy, right? So that's why people are not 